The Butcher and the Breaking Knife are quite similar in appearance, with long, relatively thin blades that swoosh up to a pointed arc at the tip. The difference is that the former is a bit more rigid, used to break down large pieces of soft meat into small one while the latter is more bendable so it can cut through tougher skin and even cartilage and small bones. In this video, let's focus on the two featured knives, see the difference between the two, and know why you should have these. Now, let's start the video. What is a butcher knife? The butcher knife is popular in the meat processing business. It is often mistaken as a cleaver because of its function, but it is a much lighter and thinner blade. This allows the user to make perfect cuts, unlike the cleaver that chops with larger chunks. Obviously, a real cleaver is heavy with a taller rectangular blade shape. Compared to other knives, this has a blade made from thick and hard steel. The blade may restrict bending, so another knife may be needed to get around the bones. The sturdy blade allows the user to chop or slice meat pieces without breaking the knife. This item is characterized by its durability and balance, that it can even go through beef or deer bones. There are a lot of butcher knives with gratin edges, which helps to avoid the sliced meat sticking to the surface. It will allow easy meat slicing without shredding the side that is being sliced. This type is usually available in different sizes, ranging from 8 to 14 inches, depending on the manufacturer or seller. What is a breaking knife? Breaking knives are often seen to be similar to butcher knives, having the main purpose of cutting and chopping large meats into smaller pieces. It can break meat into tinier parts, perfect for a barbecue or preparing a slice of meat to be cooked. The blade is quite long, with a little bend on them. It usually has thinner blades, and the tip has a curve upwards to the spine. Unlike the butcher's knife, some prefer to have a small breaking knife to allow easier handling and flexibility. Some knife makers create bigger breaking knives, popular with butchers and meat shops. The usual size of this one is about 7 to 8 inches. Uses of a butcher and breaking knives As the name suggests, a butcher knife is commonly used by butchers that will help them in butchering or breaking down animal carcasses. The bigger the blade, the better it is in splitting and cutting meat. With its thick blade, it is usually used for cutting through the bone. It helps to break down meat into more manageable portions. For non-meat purposes, a butcher's knife with taller blades is used by some to cut pizza considering the longer lengths that are perfect for reaching one edge of the pizza to another. On the other hand, a breaking knife can help to further break down the meat chop. Its characteristics would help the user to break small bones, tough skin, and cartilage. It can also be used in trimming or removing the fats in the meat. More household owns this one, as it helps them chop or slice market-bought meats into sizes that they prefer or what the dish they want to cook requires. Both these knives are an important piece to chefs and those meat lovers out there. Both are mainly used for breaking down meats into desirable pieces. We can say that the butcher's knife can chop and slice through thicker meats, while the breaking knife assists in making the pieces smaller and easy to prepare. Both also have a curved shaped blade that aids in making better slices in a single slicing motion. Comparing two strong competitors is not just an easy tap. However, we've done a little, but choose yours one according to your preferences. This video is just a help over the topic. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching till the end.